Look at Randy Orton slithering. Oh, watch, out, watch, out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. So what's up guys, it's finally me here, I know I'm actually talking, I know it's weird. Uh, so today we're in the bat chat, platooned up with Jack, who's in the uh, 4005 of the ship barn. And we're going to show you how to do over 5k assisted in just over a minute. Which is pr probably the quickest I've ever done this amount of spotting so quickly. So we're obviously going to get right to the center and spot them crossing. This is pretty much the perfect storm of a map and platoon setup. I'm in the bad chat with probably 445 view range plus. Jack's in the the Hesh meme machine with 700, 1750 alpha. So we're gonna see what we can do here. Already light up the light tank. I tell Jack to really avoid shooting him. Don't waste your shot because they're gonna be crossing you soon. We start picking up the spots on them. We see E4, another E4, and then I think Jack, he, you'll see, picks it. Yep. The poor Yegru, which we use as a roadblock. <laughs> and the E4 following him gets stuck, panics, and uh, we take him out of the game real quick here in a second after the bounce. And we pull back for our reload. And you see, we're already up to 3,600 assists, and it's just the 14 minute mark. We still had 1,200 damage of our own. There's another 600 from somebody else. And now it's just seeing if we can light up any more stragglers coming across and see what we can do. We're facing engine out so we can run away quickly if we get spotted. Because we know that Patton has good V range. And at around a minute and 20 seconds in, we're already over 5k assists. Now, that's basically all the assists we're going to get this game because nothing else really comes across. But... It's really all right. I mean, that's ridiculous amount of damage done to the enemy team within that amount of time. Now we're just looking for shots on the Reds as they push into the town and as they uh, start battling it out with our guys that are in the city and see if we can get side shots into them and keep an eye, and eye on those guys sitting by the hill still waiting for the, looks like that Patton's going to come out and he does sure enough. Look for the shot, aim it, lower plate, golden. Just back off because we're spotted. We know there's a couple TDs that crossed, including that E4. It's not who we want to get shot by, really. Uh, then we look and we got this 57 Heavy who's kind of is distracted. We get one shot into him, two, and I think that's all we're going to get because this one gets eaten by this gun, and then this one never should have been taken by myself, but that's all right. Now we're just looking to spot why we're uh, waiting for our really to come through. See what we can uh, light up. See if we can light up that E4, possibly. But we see that he gets lit up and he's crossed already. So I think at this point I probably should have turned my tank, because as you'll see in about a second or two, somebody on our team is going to light up the Death Star. And if I had been turned around, that probably could have been my assist, my, uh, my spot. But regardless, it's not a big deal. Just something I like to look back on. And we see that light tank's kind of looking for a shot on us. So we just kind of keep an eye on him. Hopefully he doesn't, I mean, pop out. And sure enough, he does. But he immediately pops back at, pops back to his uh, cover. At this point, we're just kind of waiting. Seeing, waiting for them to get pushed back. And we see that they're starting to get pushed back. So we get side shots again into these guys. And we can mop them up real quick. And put another one. Oh, no, that's right. Jack finished the other one off. And we just go for a reload because I just feel like we have the time right now, too. And we want a full clip when we go in and go into their base. Here, I think I should have stayed behind the cover. I don't think I should have let this guy really to get an easy shot on me. But he still misses. I mean, that tank's not great on the move. But regardless, Jack shuts him down. And now we're just going to push up and see what's in their base. 
Now here I was thinking their waffle was possibly in the base, but I didn't see that he was spotted in the valley. If I just looked to my right, I would have seen it. But it's not a huge deal. Their E50 is still there. Yeah, we got them. As soon as we really, I don't know how that hits. To be fair, we put one into the 705. Put another. We take one shot, but at this point, the game's basically over, so I'm finally taking a shot of damage. And put our last shot into the E100. He's about to get a very nice Hesh surprise in the rear. Yeah, he's gone. And then we decide to, well, just give a free shot of damage to a waffle because we're carrying like that. And uh, yeah, that's a quick and easy game. See the post game results of that. I assume we also picked up the top gun. And about almost 9k combined, just short of it. In a very, very quick game. Most of that was coming in the first minute and a half, two minutes. And so we got Brothers in Arms, Top Gun, Ace Tanker. Probably one of the easiest aces I'll ever, ever have. You see that, that game is just ridiculously easy. How many zeros on there, Dean? So, hope you all enjoyed. Hope I can improve my commentary, and I'll catch you next time.